In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this UI super fast. So what you're going to want to do is go into your project files right here, create a blueprints folder, go inside of it, right click, user interface, widget blueprint, user widget, and I'm going to name it WBP underscore UI, which stands for wid uh, widget blueprint UI, our user interface, and then I'm going to drag in the canvas panel. So this is basically what you're going to see on the screen. And then just drag in something simple like a text box. We're going to say, uh, some nerds. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger so that's really obvious. Then compile, then save. Head back to your game. And then we're going to look up, select all, all folders. And then HUD message device, drag that in. And there's a few settings we're going to do here. Uh, show on round start, you click that, uh, and then set the um, time from round start to be zero. So that means we want this to start showing as soon as the game starts. The next thing we're going to do is unclick show for duration, which means we want it to play for the entire game, not for just for five seconds. Uh, probably the most important thing you do here is actually go and select the, um, the widget blueprint that we just created. So this is w WBP underscore UI select it. If it doesn't pop up here, you can select your blueprint from the folder and then select this arrow. You select the asset from content browser. And then the last thing we're going to do is change the placement. We're going to use custom top left so that it's uh, anchored top left up there. Uh, so that should be good. Press save and then we're going to push the changes. And there we go. We have a beautiful UI. Congrats on that. If you learned something, be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, happy game, Devin.